Hey everybody, it's Superfluous Jay here, playing more Kerbal Space Program. And I uh, got a little bit of a bridging issue here. The if you see the definitely having some issues with my uh, space ports, but you know what? Who cares, right? <laughs> as long as we can launch ships, I'm not gonna worry about that too much. We had a very good last episode. We got a, lots of money. We upgraded the vehicle assembly building. We upgraded the research and development, which means we should be able to do resource transfer now, which is going to make orbital construction even more gooder. <laughs> um, and we've also got 1800 science and I fixed my tech tree. Um, the problem, if you're curious, was that uh, the, the, the mod that strips out uh, empty tech tree no nodes, which is like remove empty tech tree nodes mod, <laughs> um, it, uh, th there was a change in 1.11 and, uh, the mod needed to be updated to account for that change. And this is the updated mod. Uh, but anyway, we can early stations get hitchhikers. Boom. That's going to be huge. Uh, we also now have 1500 science to spend however we want. Um, and money is, I'm not going to say no issue anymore, but, uh, it's, it's a lot less of a problem now that, now that I've updated the VAB. So, uh, we're going to update, uh, battery tech. I don't know why, uh, my heat shield is in battery tech, but Hey, I'm not going to complain. We're also going to get better solar panels. We're also going to, um, get this EVA experiments kit, which apparently you need to try on every single world. <laughs> I literally don't know anything about it. Uh, we got the QBE, which... I haven't seen it in a while. It looks looks really nice. These are some more science. We like science. Um, let's see, exact science. Uh, survey scanner. Not a bad idea, but uh, I'm not really ready yet to start thinking about uh, that. Um, the Mark Z One Zero. Wow, we haven't had a Mark One lander again. Like the thing you start the game with. We haven't actually had that yet. Um, a whole bunch of upgrades and things um, f for advanced construction. Uh, I would like these. I would definitely like the Airstream Protective Shell, so I think I'm just going to get it. Um, solid rocket boosters, definitely not a bad idea, but I kind of want a little bit more. Um, yeah, see, these are like just upgrades. Uh, they, they're expensive considering the Ant engine. I'm not probably going to use all that much. Um, we've got a Poodle. We've got a Reliant. We've got more fuel, which I uh, definitely want more fuel. Um, definitely want these. Uh... We're at a thousand. We still got plenty. I think uh, the Mark One command pod is probably a good idea, as is the lander can. Um, let's see. The pomegranate seats three. That definitely wouldn't be bad. Um, let's see. Uh, EVA fuel cylinders. Probably not a bad idea. Uh, more cargo storage stuff. Ladders. <laughs> Ladders wouldn't be a bad idea. Um... Let's see, probe cores. I kind of want to uh, drill into probe cores to see if we get upgrades, but apparently we don't. I'm not sure where the where the upgrades are. Actually, I think, if I remember correctly, the upgrades are up here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I want to I get this because this gets us uh, normal and radial. And then uh, this is going to get us uh, maneuvers and stuff. Um, this one doesn't actually tell us how much it would cost. Oh, there we go, 280 so this would be 150 and 280. Would it be worth it so that probes could point at anything? I kind of think it would be. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, there we go. We got 319 left. I um, don't really want to do these upgrades. I, I kind of would like better solids because we're going to be lifting heavier things into space soon. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it at that, though. We got 289, which basically means... If we could find one that we wanted to do, which literally we can't, we could do one of these, um, or we could pick one of these. We could get a heat shield, fold out solar panels, which is probably a good idea, considering how much more docking we're going to be doing. Um, these things would be nice, but I think I'm going to leave them for now. Um, one of my favorite probe cores, although I don't know how important it is anymore, considering uh, the changes to probe cores. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to get this one with the better solar panels. And we got 139, so we could pick up a couple scrub ones, well, a scrub one. And I guess we'll get bigger solid rockets. And then we might as well pick up this aviation just because it's here. <laughs> so we've cleared out the, the, the next, the lowest tech tree node we can do now uh, is 80. 
So um, without 80 science, it doesn't matter. I think some of these are no. Actually, we could have picked this up if we had already unlocked this one. Um, not a big deal. Also, um, I want to, if I type upgrade here, uh, it does not highlight the ones that have upgrades. Or does it? No. This has a 1 in it. This has a 2 in it. I don't know what these numbers mean. But yeah, I was hoping it would highlight the ones with upgrades because the upgrade system in the game is nice and all, but uh, you have to hunt through the tech tree to to find the upgrades. And I kind of want to find all the upgrades to um, to purchase them. And I don't want to do that on camera. So tell you what, I'm going to do that now, and I'm going to see you in the VAB as we're building our moonship. And before we go to the VAB, just wanted to show you here, I am not buying some of these upgrades simply because we're running out of money, which I didn't expect to happen. Um, this thing costs... 80 grand, which we could afford, but it's uh, about half of our money. Like we'd be below um, 100 grand. And then this one here costs 200 grand. So we're not going to be getting this anytime soon. Um, so uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to leave it at that. I've got a couple other upgrades that I didn't buy uh, that I just, I could afford them, but I, I don't actually want them. And I, I would rather have the money for other things. So let's, uh, let's head in the VAB and look at our contracts and figure out exactly what we're going to be doing here on our trip to the moon to the moon alice uh let's see what do we got active active contracts um we're not going to do this min mist slopes uh we're not gonna do this min mist moon orbit one uh we're not gonna do temperature scan experiments on min mist, which apparently i somehow failed to do um and we are going to the land on the moon we are going to perform the land uh, a manned return from orbit and a uh, satellite in a specific orbit. So it's actually not as many uh, contracts as I expected. Um, so I think we're also going to investigate this lunar crash site. Uh, this is offered. Active one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know why I can't accept this one. Uh, I'm thinking perhaps this mod has a problem that I don't know about. Seems to be uh, the story of the uh, <laughs> of the contract here. Uh, okay, all contracts, anomaly surveyor, investigate a monument on the moon. Uh, this is the lowest one, so we're just going to accept it. That's we're, we're working our way down, and we'll probably um, we'll probably leave it at that for the time being. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can only take seven contracts anyway. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna land on the moon we're gonna do a, a manned return from orbit and we are gonna put a satellite and we are going to then also um investigate a monument on the moon uh that's all gonna happen in this episode <laughs> well not this episode but in this mission that we're going to be starting to build in this episode now the first thing we want to do here is build this satellite um very likely it's going to be similar to um the satellite that we had before. Uh, it, oh no, it needs a mystery goo and a magnetometer. So we need to make a satellite. Uh, we need to make it as small as possible. Let's go ahead and put the Stay Putnik on there. Uh, the QBE has no reaction wheels. That is correct. So if we want reaction wheels, we got to have the hex. And you know what? Let's just do it. Let's do the hex. And then we need a magnetometer and a mystery goo. And we, of course, want a relay on it. So let's go ahead and put a... Uh, we've also got these new experiments here that we need to buy. Probably don't need this astrophereometer yet, but why not, right? Uh, we're going to put the mystery goo right on top. Not have it stick into the thing. It's ugly. Uh, and then we're also going to have uh, this relay satellite also on the top. And very similar to what we did last time. Oops. I undid that so I could make sure that it's perfect here. Okay, so now it's going to be aimed up, and I'm going to accept that. Uh, and if I say... Um, Extend the antenna, it actually goes that way. So I think I'm going to rotate the mystery goo uh, this way. So it's a little less ridiculous. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and hit C. Bring this guy up 
so it kind of looks like it's intended to look that way, doesn't it? Give or take. Uh, if we now hit one and collapse this guy, yeah, that's totally fine. That, that amount of clipping is reasonable, and it keeps us from, uh, oh, yeah, you might hear my cat. He wants out of the room, but he's not allowed right now. <laughs> uh, this thing really doesn't need that much fuel or engine. That's enough probably to get in orbit of the moon, although it's close. Um, but we're probably going to bring this along with us anyway with the main ship and then uh, at least get it on the way to the moon. So this should be plenty. Um, he also needs uh, solar panels. Oh wait, he needs yeah he needs the magnetometer as well. I forgot about that. Uh, what I don't know is if the magnetometer can go like yeah. If I, yeah, see the magnetometer also also. ways and sticks on the side. So what if I put, yeah, it's still too heavy. Well, that's annoying. Did all this work to make it look good. And then the game decides, no, you know what? We're going to screw with you. Okay, fine. Put this here, except for put it here instead. So it's perfect. It's off center. Um, it's rotating. Oh, I see. It's rotating this way now. See, if he's like this, it's still rotating this way. Now it's rotating that way. I can't tell which one of these is heavier. I could rotate these things. Okay. Let's take this off for the moment. This is too far this way. So if we bring it back this way. No, it's it is oh there we go. But what if we put this guy on top instead of on the bottom here? There we go. I really wish you could have better, more precise control over these things, but you can't. Okay, if I just plop this down and then, okay, plop it down, hit two, click on it, hit C to make sure it's centered, and then that's perfect. Then hit C again to turn that off, and then by moving this lighter thing back and forth, hopefully we can, no, we cannot. We're just gonna have to assume that it can it can address that itself. Now, of course, we want to rotate this this way, so that when it when it rotates, it's fine. Um, I could have put these things side by side the other way, but I'm gonna live with it like this. This is perfectly fine as far as I'm concerned. Ugly, but perfectly fine. Um, and we lost a little bit of meters per second, but like I said, it shouldn't be a big deal. Um, all it needs is a Mr. Goo and a magnetometer. Maintain stability. Um, it also needs uh, an antenna, which it has, and it needs to generate power, which is the last little bit here. And we're going to do the old standard um, two of these, uh, rotate them like this on either side. Should be fine. Can get away with one, but I don't want to do it again. All right, stealth edit. You never saw it coming, did you? Did ya? Um, I also wonder if this thing should have a battery, but uh, we're already less than happy with the uh, Delta V. So I think we're just going to go with the fact that it has this tiny little, uh, what, 15, 120. Oh, that's plenty of electric charge. Um, and then we're going to, uh, we're going to reroute this guy to his engine. We are going to make a sub assembly and we're just going to call it. Goo sat. Uh, goo mag sat. Just so I remember, whenever I take a satellite contract, if I want one with a goo and a magnetometer, 
it'll be there. Um, so, go magnetometer, da da da. Now, we want to continue with the decoupler. And then we want our moon lander. Now, this moon lander is going to have to land on the moon. <laughs> Duh. Uh, or splash down if we can find water on the moon. Um, and it also, uh, we want to um, investigate a monument. So we want to we wanna land near a monument. So this is going to be a pretty simple mission. Um, I don't even think we're going to go to the space station for this one. We are just going to, um, yeah, we got I got the hitchhiker, which is fantastic. But we want a pod here, and that pod is going to be... Actually, I think it's going to still be an onion, even though we have the lander can, um, because this thing's going to have to come back to Kerbin and uh, crash into the surface. So I think we're going to want uh, the extra stability that a nice... There we go. And actually, you know what? Let's make this a two Kerbal effort here. Or can we? Maybe we don't have them. Uh, yeah, we got the P. The P seats two. And uh, we don't need parachutes, so we're taking them off. Uh, and it's not going to be Agata and Jebediah. It's not going to be either one. It's going to be um, it's going to be uh, two new Kerbals that we're hiring, which is going to be cool. But anyway, because because we're going down here with this one, we're we're taking a, a, a actually maybe it will be Jeb. But anyway, sorry, getting getting ahead of myself. It's going to be another scientist and. Uh, a pilot because we don't need an engineer because we're not doing any of these EVA report things although we have them photovoltaic panel gob ed monitor experiment control station yeah you know what I think we are gonna do this uh, we're gonna send an engineer with us we're gonna send an engineer and we don't need repair kits but we do want experiment kits and we want this guy and we want this guy and we want this guy. And uh, I think we're going to want this radial storage unit. Let's see how much it holds. It can hold a total of three things. One, two, three. That's too much. <laughs> so uh, two of these, though, would, would hold everything, right? Seems legit. Uh, but we'll probably leave that on the on the surface anyway. Uh, and then we're going to want to come back from the moon. Uh, we could actually take, oops. We're going to reroute to this. We're going to take this off for the time being. Uh, and actually, we're going to take this off because that's going to stay. <coughs> so this is, yeah, this is actually going first. So we're going to do that. OK. Fuel tanks. Uh, we need a nice base on this guy and then a nice fuel tank. Maybe two or maybe instead of two of those, maybe uh, this guy. It's probably enough for a moon lander. Whoops. Kind of like the way that one looked on the other one. Uh, let's go ahead and do three of these centered on the back and then what kind of engine do we need here for the moon uh pug i kind of like the pug it's nice and squat uh how do we look here for delta v in a vacuum on moon that is far more delta v than we'll ever need um, and better TWR. So let's, uh, let's lower our expectations here of the amount of fuel we need. Maybe that. That should be fine. That should be fine, especially if we do something along these lines, uh, where we, uh, put a couple decouplers on either side. Well, a decoupler on either side. Fairly small fuel tanks. Uh, maybe even just Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then, uh, where did that storage tank go? I guess I threw it away. Uh... That looks kind of cool. Um, and then we can put stuff in these storage tanks, obviously. Otherwise, they would be useless. Uh, we need to turn on, wait, crossfeed. There we go. So this, and then we t ditch these. It's only 181 meters per second. It's really not worth it for those. Let's, uh, let's try bigger fuel tanks. Hmm. How does the baguette look? I don't like it. Still very little benefit from that. How about a bigger fuel tank? Yeah, 380 just like, seems like it should be a lot more. I think it is a lot more and the game is just wrong, but I'm not willing to test that in the field. Um, What if we do something like this? This and toss. Oh, it's just one of these. That's the problem. There we go. That's better. <laughs> uh, makes me want to try the baguette again. Still not great. Still not great. I just don't like the way it looks otherwise. I'm probably being a little picky. This is too big. Let's go back to this guy. Let's do something crazy with him. Let's uh, let's run these ones up a bit. Whoops. So they're a little bit higher. And then, oop. Turn the, oops. Let's go ahead and uh, do it with snap on. There we go. <laughs> and then what we can do here is I'll put it over here. And here. And then we've got uh, we've got this will be landing and then and then ideally we'll toss this aside as we launch as we launch back to Kerbin, um, which means of course this is way too much fuel but if uh, if we need it we can uh, we can ditch these so let's go ahead and start these retracted uh, we also don't have any science on this thing yet uh, so we should probably do that uh, let's go ahead and uh, remove these from symmetry so they are separate and we're gonna put things in here we want EVA experiment kits uh, I don't know if it's worth it to take more than one, but let's take two because they're because they're cheap and and light, and then we'll bring photovoltaic photovoltaic panels, the gobed monitor, uh, the probo dobodyne kit, which uh, there we go, and. Wait, this is the experiment control station. <laughs> Let's lock these things down so we make sure we have everything. Uh, Gobed, photovoltaic panels, and the experiment control station. That's everything we, we need. Um, so, to make sure this is uh, balanced, apparently that just throws it away, which is a little annoying. Thirty-five and sixty. So these things weigh a annoyingly different amount. <laughs> so let's see if we can figure this out. 0 0.15, 0 0.4, 0 0.04. That's fifty-five. And then this one is fifty. 
So if we put this one in here, and then put this one in here, that's 50 and 45, and then this weighs 0.5, actually weighs less than 0.5. fifty five and fifty now it's fifty now it's forty five so let's put one more there okay now it says it's forty five what are you doing to me you're killing me smalls oh I see it's if you hover it it tells you what it will be when it's done okay so there you go now it's fifty on both sides we're bringing three experiment EVI kits I don't know maybe we can use them in space who knows we'll find it out uh, let's go ahead and close this and close this. Now we need the actual science. Um, and I think we want everything. Which is a little annoying because it's going to make everything off center. But there's not much we can do about it. So let's be clever. Never been accused of anything other than being clever. Let's put the science junior here. Put the uh, mystery goo and magnetometer here and here. Kind of like what we did with this guy a bit. Uh, let's check his. Uh, that's close enough. I mean, it's slightly off, but I, I I'm fine with that because we're totally going to be putting uh, this here. And we'll probably end up needing more fuel, that's for sure. And then we want all the rest of the science. Uh, we, want, we don't want this variometer, but we definitely want the seismic accelerometer. We want the uh, gravioli detector. I'll just stick them on here around the outside, maybe around the top, just for funsies. The uh, barometer. the thermometer and I think that's going to be it because we don't need the variometer and we don't need the storage unit and that's it okay so then we're going to need another decoupler and then you are going to go right there and that's the way it's going to look <laughs> for better or for worse um, so that's fine. This 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 thing can be decoupled. It's going to be decoupled possibly before we before we do this engine at all. Then we're going to have this engine, which is going to ideally land us on the moon. Then we're going to have this this here is going to detach, and the same engine is going to bring us home. And then uh, at the same time, or probably more likely before that, this is going to go. And then. Uh, This engine and this parachute is probably going to go before them, so I think I'm just going to move this like this. This engine doesn't really matter when it goes because it's I'm going to be doing it manually, and it's not part of the actual ship anyway. So there's that. So now we need to get this thing to the moon, uh, and I think that's enough delta V to do to do everything I want. Uh, so get this guy to the moon. We need um, another decoupler and turn off the shroud here, and then we need uh, kind of a Kind of a chubby stage, a little bit, uh, a little bit of uh, junk in the trunk on this stage, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I don't. Um, <laughs> we're going to. Uh, I'm sorting by mass. So this is this. Uh, no, this is too big. So I guess it's. Is it really this guy? This is the only one we have. Okay. Uh, let's see what uh, throwing a terrier on here would do for us uh, nothing good okay uh, let's see the terrier goes here and then this decoupler here goes with this engine and then this decoupler is that one up there so that's fine um, so this terrier will get us to the moon and not quite get us into orbit Which is not good enough, so let's put another little fuel tank on here. Let's actually uh, sort of cap it off. Then do the Terrier. That should be enough to get us there and get us into orbit. 
So then this is what needs to get into Kerbal Orbit. And that's too small to be reasonable. So let's do that one. And then see what we got for payloads. Let's go for the bigger payload. And then this can come up around everything. Oh, that's nice. That's nice right there. Bring it up. And now let's get this thing into orbit with something nice. Something nice. Uh, that's not going to work. Um, although, <laughs> we could do this just for funsies. I don't know how many of these I want. I'm just kind of slapping them on here. And something, something impressive. Uh, Bobcat, how does this do on the surface? It's good on the surface, so let's give it a shot here. What does he do for us? Uh, this is Moon. Uh, let's go to Kerbin. Uh, that's more reasonable. A little bit low on both the fuel and uh, otherwise counts. So I think what we want to do here is get by with a little help from our friends. Our friends being radially, radially attached uh, solid rocket boosters. Now somebody said that we to do this we want to go absolute but see if I do this, oh, there we go. That did work. I clicked absolute, then I just clicked it, and now they're absolute up and down. Thank you, thank you, whoever said that. I wish I remembered to to look at look at who it was. But uh, that's gonna be something that I'm gonna use a lot because I am not a huge fan of uh, <laughs> aiming my stuff exactly the way I want it. These these solids are way too big for what I'm doing here. Uh, yeah, they're. Uh, kind of ridiculously too big for what I'm doing. So let's get rid of them. Uh, let's instead go with uh, the Thumper. It's a more reasonably sized solid rocket booster. Let's see what that does. Um, it's roughly the right amount of Delta V, but a little bit low, but that's okay. He's gonna, he's gonna um, spend, uh, was it 42 seconds is what, uh, is what, I don't see it. Uh, burn time, 36 seconds. So we need 36 seconds worth of fuel in this uh, thing. So let's uh, let's see what, what 36 seconds worth of fuel looks like for the Bobcat. Uh, let's put this on here and then turn on cross feed and then bring this up. And then the Bobcat, is this is gonna be 15 seconds. So we want about double this which is this guy. This should be 30-ish seconds. This is 30. And then uh, 35, I think that's perfect. And then we'll just put a little dinky nose cone on here. Uh, the smallest nose cone we can find, which <laughs> that's, okay, that one's a little too small. Uh, probably this one is the one we actually want. And uh, can't really change anybody's Yeah, it really annoys me that the orange one has no orange on it whatsoever here, but what are you going to do? Um, okay, so we're going to pop these off, put these back on, and then slap this on the top. And we can't change this guy's uh, look, so it's just going to look like that. I think we could probably get away with that. I, I guess we'll put them back the way they were. <laughs> back, get it? Get it? Back? I'm so funny. Um, okay, <laughs> so we're going to auto strut this to the root. We're going to auto strut these guys to the uh, grandparent. We're going to auto strut this to the root. Uh, if it lets me auto strut to the root, and I think the rest of this is probably fine. So let's make sure we got this right. Uh, we don't. These guys go together. Then we kick this off. And then he keeps going to space, basically, almost, not quite, close enough. <laughs> then uh, we are going to um, kick the fairings. 
And then this goes with this. Let's make sure it's the right things. This goes with this. No, it doesn't. This goes with this. I don't even know what this one is. This one is the one way up here. So uh, yeah, we'll put it up here. Um, and then, th then ideally, this will this will be just a little bit used to get us into space. Then we'll kick the satellite off. Actually, wait, no, the satellite needs to be taken all the way to moon, doesn't it? So we need a little bit more delta v, just a little bit, just a smidgen, just a smidgen. What is our see our thrust to weight? I think we can get away with one more fuel thing here. I really think we can. I really, truly, I believe it in my heart that we can get away with that. Uh, does this guy have gimbling? He does. Okay, we're going to try this without fins. And we are going to do this and slap these on there. I think that's perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and do that. Turn RCS build aid off because it's getting a little annoying. And I think we're good now. Uh, these are going to go, then we're going to kick these off, then eventually we're going to get to space. That's the goal. And uh, this is going to be called uh, Moon Lander 1, and we're going to save it. And we're going to launch it, guess what, that's right, next time. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching this. I definitely enjoyed playing it. I'm Superfluous J, and I will, as always. Let's get a nice, oh, we can't do the panoramic view. There we go. Talk at you later.